everyone welcome you all to the achievers and our platform so when will be the ugc net december 2024 examination and when the notification is going to come when the exam can happen the possibility of examination dates are else the month of examination i'll be discussing in this video please watch this short video fully then uh, you can also share your point of view in the comment section it is very much acceptable and before going into the video if you are first time over here and preparing for UG Senate and various state set examination lecturer as well as assistant professor examination, this channel content will be useful to you. Please subscribe to this channel and join in our Telegram group also for the regular updates as well as the notifications and the classes uh, information will be shared here only. Uh, everything and Telangana and AP set belong to candidate. Uh, you can join into our WhatsApp group. WhatsApp group and mix separate account on the link and the description available on. Right. So when UGC net exam can happen in December 2024. If you look at the last three examinations, how they have conducted by ignoring all the abnormalities in between happened. Just uh, what is the exact uh, timeline between the notification date and the result date and again next notification next exam and the result if you see june 2023 is a very much accurately conducted examination by the nta because after the december 2022 results december 2022 results were declared in 18th of january 2023 after 18th of january 2023 Immediately in 20th of April, 20th of April, sorry, 10th of May, 10th of May, they have given the result. Uh, they have given the June 2023 notification. On 10th May, they have given the notification. Until the 31st May, the applications were allowed from 10th to 31st. Later, it was extended by three more days also. On 1st June, last date was ended. 2nd to 3rd June correction was allowed. 13th of June to 22nd of June 2023 examination was conducted. This is conducted on time. So from here 10th May to 13th June it is hardly 33 days we have. On 25th July they have given the result. Means uh, within one month 3 days they have taken to give the result. From the examination date. Last examination date 22nd of June. And result date was 25th of July. So only 33 days gap was there from the date of notification till the examination date. But notification was released very uh, late on 10th May. Now if you see the December 2023, after this 25th of July 2023 result, on 30 September they have given the notification means august to september two months five days they have taken a gap two months five days august and september entirely they have taken to give the notification when the cycle is going properly they usually take a time to give the notification and 30 september to conduct of examination 6th of december this is also properly conducted on time with a single shift only means single shift for even commerce also so 30 September to 6th December, 65 days proper timeline was given. Why this 33 days less timeline was there, you know? It is because of December 2022 cycle of examination was conducted in the month of uh, February and March. February and March. Which is why this delay was happening giving the June 2023. Uh, now, if you see, the result of this was declared on 18th of January 2024. Sorry, by mistake in the uh, in the introduction part, I have told that this 18th January 2023, but this is for 18th January 2024, which is December 2023 result. So, almost 65 days they have taken from the notification date to examination date. Now, June 2024, offline examination date. This cycle also went properly and the offline examination 20th of April they given means 18th Jan to 20th of April. How much timeline? 18th Jan, 18th Feb and 18th March, 18th April. Three months almost. Proper three months gap from the previous result to next, not next notification. 
when nothing is happened they are taking a time gap to give the new notification before the month of exam they'll give before 35 to 45 days time and they'll give the notification but now also abnormalities were occurring what are the abnormalities re-exam date this examination was cancelled which was scheduled on 18th of june 18th of june 20th of april to 18th of june so almost 62 days they have taken a time to from the notification date to offline exam date i'm counting not the cancellation exam because cancellation is abnormality now cancelled exam this abnormality was occurred from the 18th june 9th, uh, 18th june 18th of july 18th august 18th september 18th october so till the 18th october total time loss is there due to re-examination result were declared on 17th of october right finally due to this delay what is going to happen there is a chance two chances are there there is a chance to repeat the cycle like a june means to give the notification early to conduct in the December end or January 1st or 2nd week they may conduct. Secondly, as usual, they will take a one month time gap to receive the new notification. They will take a one month or two month time gap. Two months may not be possible. Within one month, they have to give the notification. In November, if they give the notification, they will allow one month of time like a November to December, end or December mid, they will take the application. And January, mid or January ending, examinations possible to start this is one way or else if they wanted to repeat like a december 2022 when it was released in a uh, 5th of november they given the notification for 5th of november for the december examination 2022 but that december examination went to february and march 2023 they conducted due to this this 33 days time only given to june 23 so the impact of December 2022 on June 23 because they wanted to rectify the cycle of June to December, June to December. Now there is no need to rectify. Already it is a settled down cycle. But due to re-exam it was disturbed. So this chance is very less, June 23. The chance is very high to have this same like a previous December. This December 2024 also we can expect may not be this much time gap for the note to give the notification they may not take two months of time gap. they may give within one month only but examination may happen in january to february month due to 83 subjects now so they'll conduct one month of exam or else if they want to conduct the exam like this 6th december to 22nd december that is also possible means almost a 15 to 20 days of time to conduct the exam so in January, if they start, it may end in February or within January itself, they may end it. So that's what the, just this is simply a possible expected analysis based on the previous trend. This may happen, may not happen. I am providing a disclaimer also. Don't come and bark in the comments. Some people will always be there. Don't expect the NTA. NTA will do always what we are not expecting possible. I may go wrong, but for the people, those who wanted to start their preparation now, please do not wait for the official notification to come for the December examination. They can give at any time and they may give after one month also. Till that time, you should start your preparation and you should get ready as much as possible. And without giving it one and a half month time or else at least a 40 days time, they will not conduct the exam. They will give the sufficient time. Minimum 45 days they will provide. It won't be like a June exam. Right, have that confidence and trust your process of preparation first. Start your journey. Later you can think about the dates and official. So many things will confuse us during the preparation process. So before getting into that confusion, you start your preparation for the paper one and paper two. Then automatically, once the notification comes, you can adjust accordingly. Rather than starting at that time, if you start at that time, you will not complete everything. So that will create a problem to qualify the exam. Right. So Ju December, June 2024, our Akshiba result is here as I have announced yesterday itself. And we are having a complete courses on paper one plus commerce, paper one plus management and only paper one, only paper two commerce or management also available in Achiva Sadda. 
first download achievers adda app today the offer is going to end 24 percentage discount offer so for this first download the achievers adda app register click on the courses section and you can able to see paper one plus commerce drona batch paper one plus management sugri batch only paper one separately visible only paper two also separately visible so based on that whichever the course you want you try to select that one in apply code section you can use net jrf this promo code will give you 24 percentage discount means both papers now will be able to get at 5560 only from tomorrow morning it will be 7350 and if you want only a single paper either only paper one or only paper two then it will be 3230 till today 11 59 pm it is going to be there so in this courses we will cover everything the live classes will be there daily morning 6 30 am to 8 am for the commerce and paper one 6 pm to 7 30 8 pm to uh, 9 30 pm for the paper to management like that the classes will happen if you miss the live session you will get the recording for that and also for every unit there will be a detailed pdf before the chapter starting itself will upload this pdf and with updation after chapter also will give previous year question after completion of one chapter previous year questions will be covered in detail with respect to classes and the pdf subtopic wise after completion of everyday class we will provide the quiz related to class discussed concepts so you can apply it on those PYQs and MCQs to clear your understanding. Next, sir, NTA based CBT mock test series is going to be there. Paper 1 total 42 mock tests and paper 2 almost 30 plus mock tests we are going to update. Paper 1 is already updated and it will be live within 2 or 3 days. Paper 2 will be live within 10 days uh, for the paper 2 commerce also. So, this is the entire Either you take a Drona batch or a Sukri batch for the uh, commerce or management. So that will be accordingly available. Thank you so much. If you want more details, please approach on my WhatsApp number 9666364708. Then I will provide you the doubts clarification related to your post purchase or any other related to UGC and examination. Thank you so much. Please share with your friends, subscribe to this channel and join in our Telegram group.